Okay, so check it out. VS Code Insiders has a great new tool called Copilot Chat. And I'm going to show you how to use GitHub Copilot Chat to automatically create documentations, add type checks, type hinting, and also show you how to generate tests automatically. I think it's a pretty powerful tool. So let's start out with this class. It's called Results Collector. I pulled it from Stack Overflow. You don't really need to know this, but the point is to use PyTest programmatically to pull in the results of running unit tests automatically. So errors, warnings, things that pass, things that failed. Uh, and this is all part of a unit testing framework to make sure that your code can run free of errors, bugs, etc. So results collector, this is the class. It's got a few different methods. And we are going to start out by generating some uh, doc strings. Uh, now this is using the auto doc string extension. Uh, and so when you type three uh, quote marks, you can click generate doc string. And we'll do this for each of the methods here. This follows the NumPy doc string style. So we have a summary, the parameters, different examples, and notice how nothing's really filled in, it's just a template here. From here, I'm going to highlight the entire class. And over in the copilot chat box, I'm going to say fill in the doc string templates. And you'll notice that it's adding uh, information relevant to the actual uh, test here. So once this is finished, I'm going to scroll up and click insert at cursor. Now, since I already have the whole class highlighted, when I click this, it'll overwrite it and we can take a closer look. So it's a class for collecting and summarizing results of PyTest test runs. That seems right. Uh, reports is a list of test reports. Uh, pass is a list of test reports for tests that passed. And then it gives an example where you can run collector equals results collector. And then uh, you run the tests, um, it's saying, and look at the total duration. And we have this for the other methods as well. And you'll notice it also gives some hints for the types. So let's, let's move on to the next piece. I'm going to highlight the entire class again. And this time, I'm going to say add type hints. Now, if you're not familiar with type hints, the idea is that when a certain function or class is expecting a certain type of result, you can have a sort of soft uh, indication to the code that it should be expecting, for example, a pandas data frame or a list of lists. Uh, and so that's what uh, I was referring to here. So we'll pull that in, insert a cursor again, and taking a look, notice that now we have uh, that the init function uh, produces none. We have that self.report should be a list of pytest.test report objects. Uh, we also see that here um, that the return value is none. And so uh, this is a really powerful tool to generate a starting point. And I emphasize starting point because this will produce bugs, faulty information. Sometimes it'll be redundant, sometimes it's just plain wrong but it's a great starting point. It can save a lot of manual typing and uh, give you a good, good place to go. So last thing that I'm gonna show you is generating unit tests for these automatically. So I'm going to right click, go to Copilot um, and say, generate tests. Now again, unit tests, they're little chunks of code that you can use to test to make sure your other code is running correctly. And so here it's given some suggestions for how to test that functionality. And it looks like it 
may have done it in, uh, let's see, did it do it in the PyTest style? I'm not sure. So I'm going to say generate unit tests in the PyTest style, because that's the framework that I prefer to use. Okay, again, So we have the new results and we'll take a look here. So press accept. And now we have this new file that it added called results collector.test.py. And so if we run this, we can see whether or not uh, it actually completed successfully. And as you might expect from code that is completely auto-generated, you run into cases where things don't work quite as expected. And so this is where you can go in, uh, take a look at where it failed. Um, it turns out it was just in the original import. Um, couldn't do it. Uh, and it says module PyTest has no attribute uh, called PyTest dot uh, terminal, I believe it was. Um, and so this piece that I gave for the type hinting is actually uh, incorrect. So if we uh, import pytest and we take a look to see if pytest.terminal.terminal reporter is actually there, it says, okay, there's nothing there. So this, this is a case where it uh, hallucinates uh, thinking that pytest actually does have this variable. So uh, take it with a grain of salt, but it's a powerful tool. Uh, it can get you a lot of mileage and uh, help make your coding a lot more efficient. Thanks.